13. Um, how it says, uh, wherefore doth the wicked contemn God? Uh, he hath said in his heart, thou wilt not require it. Uh, does, uh, can any brother give like a, a definition or a, me a meaning of, uh, of that? It says in the, another translation, despise in the new translation. I don't know if that's accurate. Yeah, the, uh, the one I'm reading is the KJV version. Right, I have both in front of me. Maybe I, or I'll look it up on Blue Letter right now. Yeah, um, on Blue Letter, it means to scorn. So the, the wicked scorns God. Or to blaspheme, abhor, despise, provoke. Uh, I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Uh, well, not the word of God, but the, the fact that people do that. Yeah. The first definition is to scorn. So. But then verse 14 says, Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to requite it with thy hand. And so that's that's kind of the comforting verse that even though the wicked is um, lurking for the innocent and is doing all these evil things and scorns God, that the Lord sees it and he's going to pay back everyone according to what they're doing. And so that's that's the, that's the comforting verse, I think, in this chapter, verse 14. Oh, oh, yeah, that's just good, too. Uh, the 15, too. Uh, Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. Mm. Yeah, that's an example of an, a precatory prayer. We're praying for judgment. Yeah. I was going to mention that. I forgot to catch. Yeah, Brother Alex, what, what are the kinds of prayers? Um, do you think you could put them in the chat? Uh, I'd have to do a study on that. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, man. Mm. But when you read Psalms, I mean, you get a pretty good idea of the different types of prayers because you pretty much see all of them there. Yeah, no, I was just curious about their, 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 their names um, of the prayers. Yeah, I'd have to do a study on it. God bless you, brother. Uh, anything, any other observations from this chapter before we move on? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, you know what? Oh, this actually came to mind, and I'm glad I remember. Um, it, it's kind of in between the from two, verse 2 to, to 10. I guess I'll just use this, uh, use these maybe two or three verses to, to say it out. Um, um, where is it? Yeah, yeah, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. This is, uh, verse eight. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he, he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor, doth he catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. That that reminded me a lot of the devil when 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 we were reading that. I, like that that just like made me think of uh, that like that's that's the devil. When when it talks like about that. Right. Amen.
Okay, if there's nothing else from this chapter, um, let's turn to Proverbs 17, since it is the 17th, because we already uh, finished Ecclesiastes. Try to give a chance for the people who haven't read yet. Oh, what's the chapter, brother? 17, Proverbs 17. Okay. Better a dry crust with peace than a house full of feasting with strife. A wise servant will rule over a disgraceful son and share an inheritance among brothers. A crucible for, for silver and a smelter for gold. The Lord is the tester of hearts. A wicked person listens to malicious talk. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. The one who mocks the poor insults his maker. And one who rejoices over calamity will not go unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men. And the glory of children are their fathers. Excellent speech becoming not a fool, much less the lying lips of prince. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it. Whithersoever it turn, it prospereth. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love. But he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. A reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. Evil man seeks only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Let a man meet a, a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like releasing water, therefore stop attention before a quarrel starts. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them alike or an abomination to the Lord. Why is there in the hand of a fool the purchase price of wisdom, since he has no heart for it? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man devoid of understanding shakes hands in a pledge and becomes surety for his friend. He who loves transgression loves strife, and he who exalts his Kate seeks destruction. He who has a deceitful heart finds no good, and he who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. sounds really good there's a lot of examples um of of uh i guess you could say uh how, how people are on, on with god and without god the wicked man the righteous
conscious. A verse that uh that stuck out to me was uh, verse twenty two. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Amen. Yeah, um, I, I feel like, you know, I've been walking with the Lord for a while now, and um, uh, and I feel like um, the things that he's been just constantly impressing upon my heart is uh, to be thankful in all circumstances. Um and and to rejoice always. Uh, that's sometimes there's a, there's a discipline to that, you know. It's to like, you know, I, I don't know. I guess it's our flesh that's it's easy to gravitate towards the things that, um, I don't know, cause us to feel broken or needy or lacking, and. Um, and it's a discipline to, to like, integrate or add Thanksgiving to like you know every part of our day. Um, and I just, I I found that like Thanksgiving is 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 a form of like it, it, it helps my it helps basically tune my ears to the right things, uh, tune my ears to the Lord better, and also um protects me from like i guess evil thoughts when my heart is filled with thanksgiving and rejoicing and um yeah i i guess um you know i observe that even like well i guess it's more of a testimony now um um coming to cfm it's been you know just a huge blessing because i think even one of the first services i visited there was just so much joy in in the services and I just it was kind of a contrast actually to some of the circles that I was in before Christian circles I've been was in before and that was just a huge blessing and it really did feel like medicine to my heart um so anyways this this verse stuck out to me amen amen oh brother what verse was it again it was uh, verse 22 22 okay thank you brother amen, amen. Amen. Yeah, I actually can identify with that. It, it does take some discipline to be thankful, especially um, if you're feeling tired or if your body's hurting, which has kind of been happening a little bit lately for me just because I'm recovering from this sickness. And so it does take discipline to be thankful in those situations, but it actually does something for you when we are thankful, even if your body's hurting and you're tired and you're still recovering from sickness. It, it really does actually help. Um, it does, yeah, it's good. It's like medicine. It actually uh, makes you feel better when you remember the things, all the things that we have to be thankful for. And so it definitely still takes discipline, though. That's a good word, brother. 